Hey guys, welcome back to No Offers. Today we're gonna be doing my reaction to my music replay of 2023, replay. Apple Music. So my rap, my Spotify rap, but it's Apple Music. Mm -hmm. um, and it just threw me right into it, Maria. Okay, so we talk. So you had twenty five thousand minutes of music. Do you think I had more or less than you? Um, I would think I had more. So but then, yeah. Yeah, I could be surprised. Maria, I had 32,522 minutes of music. If you had 17 days straight, I'm pretty sure I had like a month straight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I didn't think you listened to music a lot. After, uh, you think I just sing or what? That's your fun? Yeah. 408 artists. And number one? Sekan. Sekan with 3,322 minutes. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So, Sekan is my favorite artist of all time. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think I listened to him the most. Really? Who did you think was your top number one? I thought it would be Fuerza Regida or Peso Pluma. Oh. You listen to Peso Pluma? Doesn't, you don't look like the type that really... Like, I know you know his music, but you don't look like the type that would listen to it. I, I guess you're right, you know, on my own. Uh -huh. So, I guess it might just be that Sekan is is big on my most played playlist, I would say. Okay. And maybe that's why. Okay. But I'm just surprised, but I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy mm -hmm. he's my number one. You played 1,213 songs. Oh. And my anthem, For Mi Mexico, oh, yeah. was 78, song, 78 plays. From 72 albums, this one stayed in your top. Of course. Sa. Regida. Pa las babies y beliqueadas. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, you see, that's what I'm saying. 189 plays. I'm surprised he, JOP didn't become, or first Regida became my top. Um, Artist? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And look, so this one, my 78, 78 plays. plays. So I had more plays in this album than, <laughs> but somehow that one was my top one. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that it was 408 different artists. How much did I have ever got? Well, you had a lot of genres. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I know for myself, I don't really have a lot of genres. I know, you only stick to like one or two, huh? Yeah, that's just me, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, we were saying that J.O.P. is my number one album, which makes mm -hmm. sense. Because as soon as this came out, I was listening to it back and forth. The fact that you called him Juan, though. And no, you called him Juan, I called him Jesus. You did. There was one journey you came back to, back to again. Musica Mexicana. That's it? Thirty-two thousand minutes. Second, and then para las babies y beliqueadas, and then por el México. That's crazy. You almost had ten thousand more minutes than I did. Yeah, you want to see my top? Oh, what do you think of my top five, actually? Your top five. I think obviously Fuerza Regida is up there. Okay. Um, probably Second, obviously. Okay. Santa Fe. Okay. It's top five, right? Yeah. Um, so you have, you said three names so far? Okay. And... Uh, who else do you listen to, bro? Those are the only artists I know you listen to. Do I know, do I know them? Um, you know one other one. I don't know if you know the other one, actually. Um, Julian Alvarez? No. Uh, okay, the next two are groups. They're not a person. Oh, they're groups? Grupo Frontera? No, I don't really listen to that. Uh, Banda Mesa? No. I don't think you're gonna guess. Yeah. So, uh, start from, starting from number five. Uh-huh. Calibre 50. Calibre 50, of course. Number four. Enigma Norteño. 
think I know them. No? Or maybe I've heard their songs, but I'm not sure. Number three, Fuerza Regida. Okay. Two, Santa Fe. Of course. And number one, Second. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go through my top 15. I'm just gonna say them. Number six is Lefty. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Seven, Santa Grifa. Mm -hmm. Eight, Cartel de Santa. Mm -hmm. Nine, Peso Pluma. Ten, Jera MX. Eleven, Tucanes de Tijuana. Twelve, Junior H. 13 El Fantasma, 14 Grupo Firme, and 15 Huracanes del Norte. Damn. Oh, what are you, what are you, oh wow, well, you already know which is my top number one song, which is Por Mi Mexico. Mm -hmm. Any guesses on my other ones? I wouldn't know just because, like, you listen to Secan and Santa Fe, like, a lot, so I don't know most of their you, songs. You, you, okay, so number one is Por Mi Mexico. Uh huh. You know two through five. Is it from those artists? No, it's from. Oh, is one of them like um, from Fuerza Regida? Yeah. First, okay, is it. There's two Fuerza Regidas? Uh -huh. One Junior H and one Peso Pluma. The Junior H one is in the Las Flores in the Land Rovers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fin de semana. Te yeah, compré one. las flores yes. más bonitas so en el antro. One. Is it. Damn. It's because Fuerza Regida had a lot of good ones. A lot of good ones. Uh huh. Is Excess was one of them? No. Okay. Tecuema. It's not in their new album. Oh no, wait, when is in their new album? Okay, Tecuema? No. Sabor Fresa? Yeah. Sabor Fresa is one of them. Sabor Fresa is number four, okay. Fin de Semana is number three. Okay. So you're missing number two, which is a Fuerza Regida, and number five, which is a Peso Pluma. Is Peso Pluma AMG? No. PRC? No. What? I'm surprised it's not La Pipo. La Pipo. La Pipo, activa ya Um, I don't know, just tell me. So number two is Que Onda. Oh, duh. And number onda. five is Lady Gaga. Uh-huh. Six, El Toro Encartado. Uh-huh. Seven, no, I'm not gonna. What, seven? Let me see. Uh, and then, Where's seven? that's an oh. Emigo Norteña one. Uh -huh. And then there's Gavilán, La Charla, Me Jale uh -huh. is number 11. Okay, okay. Oh, so, Sekan being my number one artist, Mm -hmm. His song doesn't come out until number 14. That's so weird. I would think he would be up there. Like at least one of his songs. Yeah. Por las Babies y Belicadas, number one. Number two is La División del Terror, Papayochito Panchito Redondo, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Hennessy's came out, which is unique. Mm -hmm. So my top five genres is Musica Mexicana, mm -hmm. Hip Hop, Mm -hmm. Latin, mm -hmm. Urbano Latino, and Latin Rap. Urbano Latino is what number for you? Urbano Latino is number four. Number four. That was number one for mine. Musica Mexicana, Hip Hop, Latin. Okay. It tells me the ma. Okay, so milestones on October 3rd, mm -hmm. I had 25,000 minutes. So that's about how much you've had. So yeah. that means that from October to now, is that when I added up like an extra. Maybe. 10,000? Probably. 250 artists on July 11th. Mm -hmm. And then 1,000 songs played on September 5th. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. And were you um shocked at some of your top artists? Or were you already like, I already know I'm going to have them as my top five? Um, I didn't think Enigma Norteño or Calibre 50 were going to mm -hmm. be in my top five. Oh. What were you expecting? I was thinking maybe a Peso Pluma up there. Okay. And maybe like a, I don't know actually. I was just thinking there would be higher. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, I was not thinking what Fresa was gonna be played that much. Or Que Onda. Mm -hmm. I think this is new though. I was surprised that guy was number one. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I really listened to him that much. Maybe it was more in the beginning of the year and you don't remember? Yeah. I mean, I think I still, I think because he's my, my constant mm -hmm. listen to, mm -hmm. and then like maybe in the beginning I was more about a different artist, mm -hmm. and then Peso Pluma, and then Fuerza Regida, right. but because he's probably stayed constant, that's why he's, oh, that's why he's, he's number top. one, uh -huh. you know? Makes sense. Yeah. But I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. How does it feel that I listen to more music than you were? That's crazy. I didn't expect you to listen to more music than I did. Yeah. Uh huh. But I also did have long commutes at work. Mm, that's true. That's what helped. Or else I would have probably had around the same. Yeah? Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. 
Hey guys, so I just found out that on Apple Music, I could really like see who I really listened to throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Well, the years that I've had Apple yeah, Music, yeah. right? Yeah. So in 2015, some of my, my top artists were Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Dub C, Chino Grande, Mr. Shadow, NWA. 2016, Sekan, Jasper Loco, Tupac, Little Rob, Ice Cube, Little Cuete. 2018, this is when we were seniors in high school. Right. Zio, which is Lonzo Ball, you know, the basketball player. Okay. The Migos, uh, Drake, Tyga, T Grizzly, YG. So I think that was my listening to English music era, I would say. Oh, yeah, because now you're really into the um, Spanish um, music. Yeah, so I think in 15 and 16, I was really big into like 90s rap. 90s rap, okay. Yeah, like with Tupac and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and then 18, I was very good with the current rap. 2019, still Lonzo Ball, CO2. Sekan, Rich the Kid, Kanye West, Chino Grande, Tyga, T Grizzly. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of mix. 2020, the pandemic year. I had Rancho y Barrio, Pugnas de Culiacán, okay. Gerardo Coronel, okay. Los Tucanes de Tijuana. Interesting. 21, Santa Fe Clan. Okay. Tren. Tomás Vallardo, El Fantasma, uh -huh. Panchito Arredondo. 2022, this was last year. Secan, Panchuresti, Cristiano Dal, MC Davo, Jelly Row, GMX, Calibre 50. Oh, so Calibre 50 and Secan stayed. Well, from what I'm seeing here. Because uh -huh. you know how Panchuresti is number two right here? Mm -hmm. And it's. I literally only have like two to three songs of his, but mm -hmm. they were like so mm -hmm. good. I think I had them on repeat. Mm -hmm. And then this year, oh, I think maybe it just shows you the new one. Look, because if you look at my 2023, it has Lefty, Calle 24, oh. Oscar Maidon, which weren't, and Peso Pluma, right. Fuerza Requita, which weren't over here, right. but are here, but they weren't my top. Top five. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they make track lists they, they for you. They make a, yeah, a playlist for you. Yeah, they make a playlist for me. Damn. Which one sounds more interesting? Well, for me, the 2023. Okay. Because I don't really listen to like the other artists you mentioned from your past um, years. Damn, I had a Bronco song. It was banging hard for me in 2022. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, this has been it. Yeah, let us know what your top artist for apple music was or spotify mm -hmm. um if we made a separate video you know where we reacted to my top artists and songs so make sure you go check that out if you haven't already and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends yep. guys till the next time mm -hmm.